The United States Navy is soaring into uncharted skies with a bold vision that echoes the daring dreams of the world wars, flying aircraft carriers. Once dismissed as impractical, this audacious concept is making a triumphant return, fueled by the relentless pursuit of technological supremacy. With an eye on the historical roots, we'll navigate through the evolution of flying carriers, explore the cutting-edge U.S. Ford class, and unveil the latest endeavors involving the modification of Lockheed C-130 Hercules, propelling the U.S. Navy into a new era of aerial prowess. The concept of flying aircraft carriers traces its origins back to the early 20th century, a period marked by intense experimentation and innovation, particularly during the World Wars. As nations sought unconventional methods to project air power, the idea of deploying aircraft from airborne platforms gained traction. One significant historical endeavor in this realm was Project Pogo, an initiative by the U.S. Navy during World War II. Project Pogo aimed to develop large, long-range aircraft with the capability to carry and launch smaller fighter planes. The idea was to extend the operational range of fighter aircraft by utilizing these airborne carriers, allowing for strategic flexibility and surprise attacks. While the project represented a visionary approach to military aviation, it faced formidable challenges, both technical and financial. Historical attempts to create operational flying aircraft carriers encountered hurdles that proved insurmountable for many projects. Boeing's 747 Airborne Carrier and Lockheed CL-1201 are emblematic examples of initiatives from the past that struggled to overcome these challenges. The technical complexities of designing and maintaining airborne platforms capable of launching and recovering aircraft, coupled with the financial burden of such ambitious undertakings, led to the abandonment of many projects. The setbacks experienced by these early initiatives did not, however, dampen the enthusiasm for the concept among military strategists and engineers. The idea of flying aircraft carriers persisted in the collective imagination, serving as a reminder of the tantalizing possibilities and potential strategic advantages they could offer. Despite the historical challenges, the allure of airborne carriers endured, fueled by the ongoing evolution of aviation technology and the changing nature of military conflicts. The failures of the past became valuable lessons, contributing to a growing body of knowledge that would eventually inform contemporary efforts to explore flying aircraft carriers. As the U.S. Navy rekindles interest in this concept, it builds upon the foundations laid by these early endeavors, aiming to overcome historical obstacles and usher in a new era of aerial capabilities for naval forces. In the contemporary era, the U.S. Navy's pursuit of flying aircraft carriers is intricately connected to the technological prowess embodied in the U.S. Ford class. This new generation of aircraft carriers signifies a monumental leap in naval engineering, incorporating cutting-edge features that redefine the capabilities of these formidable vessels. At the forefront of this innovation is the U.S. Gerald R. Ford CVN-78, the lead ship of the Ford class and a testament to the zenith of naval technology. The U.S. Ford class's most striking feature is its utilization of nuclear power, an advancement that revolutionizes the endurance and operational range of the carrier. The nuclear propulsion system eliminates the need for conventional refueling, providing unparalleled staying power and flexibility in deployment. This leap in propulsion technology significantly extends the carrier's operational capabilities, allowing it to traverse vast distances without logistical constraints. Complementing its nuclear power, the U.S. Ford class incorporates advanced sensors and combat systems that enhance situational awareness. These technological integrations enable more effective command and control in dynamic and contested environments, empowering the carrier to adapt swiftly to evolving threats. The carrier's capability to operate in high-threat scenarios is thus greatly augmented, reflecting a commitment to staying ahead of the curve in modern naval warfare. A defining characteristic of the U.S. Ford class is its remarkable aircraft capacity, setting it apart as a true force multiplier in power projection. With the capacity to host up to 75 fighter jets, including the state-of-the-art F-35C Lightning II, the carrier establishes itself as a formidable aerial platform. The inclusion of the F-35C, a fifth-generation stealth fighter, introduces a new dimension to the carrier's air wing, ensuring adaptability and versatility in the face of contemporary threats. In essence, the U.S. Ford class serves as a foundation for the exploration of flying aircraft carriers, 
its technological advancements, from nuclear propulsion to advanced sensors and increased aircraft capacity, not only redefined the capabilities of traditional sea-based carriers, but also paved the way for innovative concepts that leverage these capabilities in unconventional ways. As the U.S. Navy navigates the complexities of modern warfare, the U.S. Ford class stands as a symbol of forward-thinking naval engineering and the relentless pursuit of military superiority. In a departure from traditional sea-based carrier technology, exemplified by the U.S. Ford class, recent developments in flying aircraft carriers showcase a novel approach by the U.S. Navy. Rather than pursuing massive airborne platforms, the focus has shifted towards modifying existing aircraft to function as carriers for unmanned aerial vehicles (UAVs). At the forefront of this initiative is the Lockheed C-130 Hercules, a versatile military transport aircraft renowned for its storied history and adaptability. The rationale behind this modification is to leverage the C-130's inherent capabilities for deploying and recovering UAVs, thereby extending the reach and efficacy of naval aviation. The modification process involves adapting the aircraft to perform the intricate tasks of carrying, launching, and recovering UAVs in a manner that is not only operationally feasible but also cost-effective. This approach capitalizes on the existing fleet of C-130s, repurposing them for a role that enhances the versatility of naval aviation. Despite encountering setbacks in testing, the program signifies a transformative shift towards more agile and adaptable naval aviation capabilities. The incorporation of UAVs into carrier operations presents a myriad of advantages, including a substantial reduction in risk to human pilots operating in contested environments. Additionally, UAVs offer increased endurance for prolonged surveillance and reconnaissance missions, extending the operational range and persistence of naval aviation assets. The modified Lockheed C-130 Hercules, serving as a flying UAV carrier, aims to complement the powerful sea-based carriers like the U.S. Ford class. This initiative responds to evolving strategic challenges by providing additional flexibility and adaptability in naval aviation operations. The C-130's ability to serve as a flying UAV carrier not only augments the capabilities of the U.S. Navy, but also opens avenues for innovative mission profiles, expanding the spectrum of operations that can be conducted in diverse and dynamic geopolitical environments. As the program progresses, the U.S. Navy stands poised to embrace a new era of naval aviation, combining the strengths of both sea base and airborne platforms to ensure unmatched strategic advantage. The exploration of flying aircraft carriers, whether in the traditional airborne platform model or through modified aircraft for UAV operations, is a venture laden with formidable challenges. These hurdles span technical intricacies, logistical complexities, and financial considerations, all of which must be meticulously addressed to unlock the full potential of these groundbreaking concepts. Technical challenges form a critical facet of this exploration encompassing issues ranging from ensuring aircraft stability during launch and recovery to devising efficient communication systems and integrating advanced avionics. The complex nature of modifying aircraft for carrier operations necessitates precise engineering and extensive testing to guarantee the safety and effectiveness of the flying aircraft carrier. Overcoming these technical hurdles is imperative to ensure the reliability and functionality of these innovative platforms in diverse operational scenarios. Logistical challenges present another layer of complexity. Unlike their sea-based counterparts, flying aircraft carriers require unique considerations for deployment, maintenance, and support infrastructure. Traditional carriers have established protocols for port visits and maintenance, but airborne platforms demand a different set of logistical arrangements. Adequate facilities for aircraft maintenance, crew rest, and operational planning must be strategically positioned to sustain continuous and effective operations posing logistical challenges that must be surmounted to ensure the viability of these endeavors. Financial considerations loom large in determining the feasibility of flying aircraft carriers. The development and maintenance of such cutting-edge platforms entails substantial costs, and budget constraints may exert influence over the scale and pace of these programs. Military planners and policymakers face the delicate task of balancing the potential strategic benefits of flying carriers with the financial investment required. Navigating this intricate equation is essential to ensure that these initiatives align with broader national security objectives while remaining fiscally responsible. 
The U.S. Navy's exploration of flying aircraft carriers stands at the intersection of history, innovation, and strategic foresight. From the daring experiments of the world wars to the technological marvels embodied in the U.S. Ford class and the adaptive modification of the Lockheed C-130 Hercules, the journey unfolds. As the skies become the next frontier for naval capabilities, these endeavors showcase the Navy's unwavering commitment to pushing boundaries. The dream of airborne carriers, once relegated to the annals of impossibility, now takes flight, symbolizing a promising future where naval aviation transcends conventions. The quest for dominance in the aerial domain continues to soar.